Oh my god, I haven't made a video in 10 months. Well, hey guys, I'm Justin, if you forgot who I am. And if you know anything about me, you might know that I like giraffes. I probably only got about four or five of those myself. The rest were all just gifts from other people because they knew I like giraffes, so that's their kind of go-to present. But it's cool because each one has a story behind this. So I remember, you know, that person got me that, where we were at the time, so it was fun. Anyway, a while ago, my mom got me this book called Giraffes. Giraffes! There's a lot of interesting facts about them since they are such misunderstood creatures, so I thought I'd share some with you today. And look, it's written by old people, so you know it's good. Giraffes first came to this planet nearly 500,000 years ago on a conveyor belt. The conveyor is believed by the authors, one of whom is a trained scientist, to have originated on Neptune. This is the opinion of the authors because most scientists believe Neptune, because of its unique gaseous makeup and its green color, is the most likely place to be inhabited by giraffes who would build conveyors. And here's the giraffes on conveyor belt. Giraffes' necks are actually made out of paper mache which accounts for the drastically different lengths and sizes. The legs of giraffes are filled with various types of fruit juice. You see, giraffes love drinking fruit juices, pineapple, boysenberry, mango lemon, but their bodies have no real use for fruit juice, so it all trickles down to their legs where it stays and swishes around. This should have been obvious to you. The hooves of giraffes are fashioned with a super strong, lightweight titanium alloy. That's what makes their hooves so fierce looking, yet soothing at the same time. You know what else is fierce looking, yet also soothing? Giraffes are not nocturnal, and do not like night at all. This is why most giraffes live in houses where the lights are on 24 hours a day. They like to sit under ceiling fans while eating a sorbet and talking about ceiling fans and sorbet. Have you ever looked in the mirror and wondered why you look thin, large, blue, or red? Well, the answer is because of giraffes. Giraffes control the majority of mirrors in the United States and Canada. A team of giraffes monitor the images you see in your mirror, adjusting them as they see fit. But most of the time, you see a pretty accurately reflected version of the real world. Many times, the reflection monitors, bored and eating entertainment, will play with your mirror image, making him or her look very red, or very ugly, or sometimes just tired. The mirror control is currently an issue being looked at by Congress. Giraffes have quite a few enemies, the first being Gila Monster, the seventh being Matthew Perry. 4 and 56,000 BC, giraffes survey the planet Earth, leave unimpressed, but stop on their way back to Neptune to take pictures. 22,909 BC. Giraffes come back to Earth for Halloween. Most come costumes of oak trees, or baby sharks. 803 BC. Giraffe scientists create volcanoes out of boredom. 467 BC. The giraffes begin hiding the moon once a month to see if anyone notices. 1043 AD. Giraffes go through a hair dyeing phase. 1634 AD. Galileo steals ideas from a team of Viennese giraffe physicists. He claims it was a weird coincidence. 1917 AD, giraffes invent rock music, but decide they don't look good while playing it. They go back to bluegrass instead. 1927 AD, giraffe secret societies are on their way out. Or are they? Well, there are a ton more stories and interesting facts in this book that I wish I could share, but that would take a while. So, I recommend getting yourself and reading it, because it's hilarious. Oh, and I have the shirt, magnet, and 